Greetings everyone, welcome back. In our last episode, we discussed how to mock read-only fields in test classes. The record ID stands out as a unique read-only field, so we are going to cover it in this follow-up episode. If you've encountered the invalid ID error in the past, follow along to learn how to address it. But before we jump into the nitty gritty, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more helpful content. I'm Simon, and I'm a developer from Smoothstack. There are a few different ways you can encounter invalid ID errors. By using a duplicate ID, by using an ID that does not match the pattern for the object type you're using, or by using an ID that doesn't match the Salesforce ID pattern in general. In this video, we will provide a scalable solution that can address all three of those problems. Mocking IDs is a common practice in test classes because many Apex classes rely on maps from IDs to strings, lists, or other objects. In order to test methods that follow that structure, you need to either insert test records into the database or find a way to mock the IDs. Because tests involving DML operations take longer to execute and are vulnerable to validation issues, many developers opt for data mocking techniques. If you follow along, I'll show you yet another technique to add to your bag of tricks that'll keep your test classes robust and efficient. So when it comes to mocking a record ID, you can take care of pretty much all of the magic using one variable and one method. We have created this class called test record utility, which we should annotate with is test because we don't want to generate monk IDs in a uh, system context outside of a class, at, or rather outside of a test class. And so the variable we're going to be using is a count variable. And the main purpose of this variable is to ensure that we don't bump into the duplicate ID problem. I've seen similar record ID generation methods that rely on random numbers. And the problem with those is that sometimes, even when we have fairly large random numbers, we'll end up with duplicates, the test class will fail, and you'll have to rerun. And that leads to a lot of inconsistency. Instead, it's better just use this count and generate algorithmically because you're never going to create so many test records that you run out of IDs. So we're just gonna iterate this count every time we create a new record and then we won't bump into duplicates. But here we have a get fake ID method. We take in an S object type because Salesforce has a different pattern for each object type and we want to make sure that we create an ID that matches the type of object that you're using. Again, that was one of the errors that you can encounter and we're trying to avoid that. So for starters, we will create a string, which is just going to be the value of count plus one. And then we're going to generate the suffix, which is just going to be what comes after the object prefix. And it's going to be a string of zeros repeated and then whatever the count is. And so that's a really simple algorithm, but It'll get us what we need. It'll create unique record IDs that we can use within our test context. And then, as I mentioned before, we need to take in the object type so that we can get describe and get the key prefix, which is essentially what goes at the front of the record ID and is unique for each object. And then we're going to add the suffix. So it's just gonna be that string of zeros followed by the count. And if we generate fake IDs this way for each record that we need in a test class, then we will end up with unique record IDs that follow the Salesforce pattern for the object that you are trying to generate. And if you followed the last video, you may have noticed that we've already used that ID within a test context. Here we have a method that 
tests expired cases, and we included the ID because we were trying to create a uh, record using json.deserialize. And so we're calling the test record utility to generate our mock case ID, and we just have to pass in case.s object type to get the ID for a mock case. And you can do the same thing for any various object types, whether it's contact or a custom object or any of the other standard objects. Since congratulations, you learned how to mock ID text test classes to a database when you need to test on IDs. Tutorial helpful? Please give it a channel for more Salesforce. Don't forget to hit the notification with our latest content. Any questions or need further, feel free to leave a comment. Happy coding!